Hey, I'm Pastor Aaron Campbell, pastor of Antioch Christian Fellowship in Philadelphia, USA. And just want to take this time to just share just all that God would allow me to just share in a short amount of time, just to encourage all of you pastors and ministry leaders out there around the world. Uh, as a member of the CGN leadership team, we are all praying for you, regularly talking about all of you in the context of all of what we're going through and just want to take a minute just to send a word of encouragement. I just want to read Amos chapter four, verse 13, and then just finish up by just looking at two people in the Bible. Amos four thirteen says this, for lo, he that forms the mountains and creates the wind and declares unto man what is his thought that makes the morning darkness and treads upon the high places of the earth, the Lord the God of hosts is his name. God makes known unto us what is his thoughts, even what his thoughts are in days such as these. We are living in unprecedented times, but the comfort is that God has steered his people through unprecedented times as we have in scripture. Uh, and it's the same yesterday, today, and forever, Malachi 3, 6. I'm not here to share something that maybe you don't know, but like the apostle Paul, if I can just in all humility, maybe stir your mind to just remember the things that we all have said amen to. I'd like to just highlight two people, Mordecai and Jeremiah. I just want to encourage you guys that in the middle of what we're going through, we're just clay. Psalms 103 verse 14. He knows our frame and he knows we're just dust. We're just dust trying to take on this great work of leading God's people. Paul said, who is sufficient for these things? But then Paul said, but we know our sufficiency comes from God. Mordecai and Jeremiah teach us two lessons. They embraced their weakness. I would say that first and foremost, as we want to just be a service to those around us, Let's take the time just to embrace what we're truly feeling, first and foremost, what's truly on our mind. Even if it feels weird when it comes out of our mouths, let's go to God. We all know that Mordecai in Esther chapter 4, verse 14 says to Esther, hey, deliverance is going to come whether you want to get involved or not. We see the confidence. This man is standing bold as a lion. And then he says to Esther, but how do you know if God has not chosen you for a time such as this? All of us as pastors, I want to encourage you, we have been chosen for a time such as this. Mordecai is speaking and bold as a lion, but what we need to also see is that 13 verses prior in verse 1, he takes the time to be weak. It says when he first hears of this unprecedented potential ethnic cleansing and elimination of the Jewish people. It says that he goes to God and cries with a loud voice, ripped his clothes and put on burlap. He took the time to be weak before God. I just want to encourage you guys. Let's, while we preach to others, let's apply it to ourselves. We're just dust. Take the time to be weak before God. Let him know your fears. Cast your cares upon him. If you're worried about the church budget, the finances, a project that's right now on halt, disappointment, whatever it is, personal fear, take it to God, crumble before God, and then wait on God to strengthen you and allow you to stand. No doubt, Mordecai came to remember some verses what if it was a verse like in Jeremiah where it says, if the sun and the moon stop their course, so will I stop keeping my people. Then after crying, he remembers the verse, then he's ready to be bold as a lion. God has called all of us for a time such as this. Let's take the time to be weak before him, embrace the weakness, embrace the pain, and then be ready to hear from him and then stand bold as a lion with creative gospel outreach. Because right now we have the largest open door to share the gospel. The world is hungry. The door is wide open for us to share creatively. And I want to share this with you. Agape love. Let love fill your heart for those around you, those who are hurting, believers and non-believers for the world. Agape love is the seedbed of all creative and revolutionary gospel outreach. As that love fills your heart, you will get the creative idea, online teaching, how to serve with social distancing, whatever it is, let that agape love fill your heart. But it begins with first 
just being weak and pouring out your heart, Psalm 62, verse 8, like Mordecai does in verse 1. See, all of us want to be Mordecai in 414, but we have to understand that the way up is down. First, we have to take the time to be Mordecai in Esther 401. Lastly, I want to close by just drawing your attention to Jeremiah. As he writes Lamentations, he does the same thing. He is just crying out and it says his eyes run like rivers. He's not only embracing He's engaging and just surveying the pain everywhere. He says there are those with no comfort. There are those that just in the name of going to get food, they're dying. Isn't that the days we're living in? People just going to get groceries, getting sick with the virus and dying. He embraces it. But then by him emptying himself, just as Mordecai did in chapter 4, verse 1, we see that Lamentations doesn't end with just emptying oneself. It ends with a crying out for fullness. It is him looking at the throne of God, Lamentations 5.19, Thou, O Lord, remain forever. Your throne is from generation to generation. And then verse 22 of chapter 5, Lord, turn us and we will be turned. Renew us as in the days of old. It ends with a cry for revival. Let's be weak. Let's wait. Let's get filled afresh with his spirit. Let's realize we're here for a time such as this. Let's embrace let's engage let's let that love be the seedbed of creative and revolutionary gospel outreach during this tremendous open door and let's be looking to god's throne and crying out for revival god is pouring out his spirit right now and i believe god desires to do it even more so god bless you we're praying for you at the cgn leadership team i'm praying for you personally god bless salute